Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I'll be watching The Sopranos. Oh, I have no clue what episode. Episode 5 of season 2. I need to laugh a little bit because somebody asked me earlier if I sometimes record on the same day, but then I change t-shirts so people would notice. And the answer is no. But now I suddenly feel very self-conscious because I just checked and apparently I was wearing the same thing last episode. And then a few episodes again, the same thing. <laughs> And I'm like, it's not even recorded on the same day. I actually recorded it on different days and I just look the same. <laughs> so yeah, I, it might not be a secret that I'm not a huge fashionista. And I, like, I don't know, per season I have a few things that I wear and I just roll through them until they're bad. And then I get a few new things and then roll through them. So yeah, I don't have the biggest closet, but I never really thought about that much. Now I do and I'm like, oh damn, I need to get more clothes. <laughs> Anyway, this is nothing to do with Sopranos. I'm really sorry. Anyway, I love the last few episodes and the last one especially where you had them going to Italy and that vibe between the contradictions of what he's used to and what he's getting to know, but also what he thought he would get to know and then that turned out differently. And then the whole thing of Carmela getting this seed planted on how she feels about her relationship and how others deal with that and especially like what feels the right thing to do and that might have to do with your feelings on a subject but also on what your moral standing is on the question and I feel like she was very much like yeah it was very interesting to see her go through that process I would say very human and that's what I like about the show it's this criminal thing but also very much everyone's personal feelings about very human topics and yeah I like that okay <laughs> Me and my blue and white striped t-shirt are gonna start watching now. If you like it, make sure to like and subscribe. The full reaction you can always find over on Patreon. Together we edited versions and everything two weeks ahead. So if you want to see the next episodes already, full length or edited, you can go on Patreon and find that over there. All right, let's go. I'm looking at the... Some info from James Gandolfini. He apparently died already when he was 51. Like, whoa. I knew that he had passed away, but I feel like I, or maybe I had known, but I had forgotten. When did the Sopranos end? Wow, only six years earlier. Wow. How's it going, buddy? Don't you own a fucking mirror? You look like you've been French kissing the Pillsbury Doughboy. What does that mean? It's half. Three fucking weeks in a row now? Business slow, we tell you. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. We pay no more. What'd she fucking say? No, <laughs> don't listen to her. On the out front. Come on. Whoa. Good. You got money for blow, but not for us, huh? Chris, please. You drug addict motherfucker. No, his little piece of art. This shit's unacceptable. He's kind of right, though. Well, I know this business is illegal, but like, it's clearly that the money is there. It's just not used for payment. What the fuck is that? Can I get aid for meeting this? Didn't I see this guy in the park this morning taking a shit on a statue? At least they're very supportive. <clears throat> My cousin. I thought maybe you could hire him, you know, help me out with the immigration. Ooh. I'll take care of the money. Why does he want to come here? He's got a job over there. Because he doesn't have real, real jobs <laughs> for immigration. Does he at least uh, know his ass from a shkomotz? His wifey is not gonna be happy with this. This is acting for writers. And your first assignment is to act like a writer who gets here on time. Look at him being in school. Any special reason you chose this class? I didn't. It was a birthday present from my girlfriend. Quite sweet that this was a gift, no? Like very fitting with his passions. Bought that book, uh, How to Write a Movie in 21 Days. That was like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. Soprano, seen here in an FBI surveillance photo with family associate Big Pussy Bomb and Sarah. Was Jesus fucking Christ. How come every person I take is a fucking news story? I'm surprised as well. Like, I can't remember on the news being like, we think that this guy is a huge criminal while he's just sitting at home dipping his food in mayo. <laughs> Like I would get it if he's on the run and everybody's like, look for him or something, but not like... Imagine if you're that man walking by and you're like... <laughs> I'm making some changes. I do something wrong? Sunday. My house. Box of Malamos on the counter. Fucking empty. You think I don't know it was you? I'm kidding you, you fuck. <laughs> he was nervous. I was nervous. You're getting a bump. Pussy reports to you guys. Oh, he's happy. I got a promo. It was a downpour. 
Yes, I miss her. You're out of the woods. You're out of the woods. <laughs> it's so nice that I've watched these movies now, and at least I start to recognize references. I feel like I never knew how much I missed out. He crashes. The fact that he can't see the road ahead suggests my abandoning him. That's why he crashes. Who in Wizard would your patient be? The witch. Given the fact that he's a powerful, dominating oh. male, Oz himself. What, Elliot, with the eyebrows already? <laughs> what is this question even? How does that help? <sighs> she looks very... <laughs> Why do we love roller coasters, Jennifer? To experience the thrill of being terrified without the consequences. That's very good, Elliot. Tony is not without the consequences. A lot of thrill, but consequences as well. I had to go into hiding, remember? <laughs> and wasn't that thrilling? Fuck you. Oh, rude. You smut <laughs> sucker. Fuck you. Girl, putting my editors to work. <laughs> Didn't expect that from her, of all people. The fucking bitch. It's a bank. She's trying to take out a loan on my mother's house. Pavani? <laughs> she gave him the wrong social security number or something. All right, Tony, calm down. Don't discuss this in front of Anthony. She's living rent free. She's got to try to squeeze money out of the fucking house, too. I'd be mad, too, if that was my sibling. Goddamn fucking. Tony! I don't need no more jam. What did I say, AJ? Go get dressed. Something is up for him. I'm sorry. Why don't you grow the fuck up? But people say that when it comes to siblings, you kind of stay in the same like vibe as when you're younger. That you might grow up as a person, but when you're with your siblings, you immediately get flashback to I that to tell you, dynamic. I got a radio shack. Product testing. Giving that phone enough for durability. <laughs> Bad. Bikes. Guys, it's me, open the door! Oh, here he goes. What? No. <laughs> I'm making breakfast. You want some eggs? Oh, this is so awkward. You act like nothing's going on. Why don't you put your fucking pants on? Yeah, he's very comfortable. Have some coffee. In their family home. Ten years, you thought about Janice? There are men in the camp better looking at my sister. Oh, oh, oh. What a diss. Oh, oh, that's a low blow. I hope you're not thinking about moving in here. Yeah, when he moved in, sir, he's making you angst. <laughs> Picking up where we left off. High school, grabbing blowjobs on my mother's couch. Mm. Hey, I thought that was Where do you get cause. the blows to take out a loan on this house? Do you reckon it was him? I'm quite capable of getting a job, Tony. Yeah, with your carpal tunnel syndrome, how are you gonna hold a beggar's cup? Ooh, Tony. I applied for the loan simply because I'm trying to make this place habitable for months. Mm. Stay as long as you like, Rich. She's your fucking problem now. Oh, this is not great. She's not doing the right thing, though, by their mother and all of that. But I can get that Tony's also, like, fed up. But he's also kind of mean. Your wife's getting a ticket. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You're dropping your fucking oranges. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Great improv. There we have it, huh? Listen. Look at his confidence! Woo! Improv makes me really nervous. I did theater classes for I think 10 years or so, but I would never dare to do improv. What's the man? Oh. <laughs> okay, sure. What a nice shot that was. Oh, who it is? Christopher, how you doing, man? He's so excited. Did you talk to that guy down at the uh, tanning salon? He only had half. I wasn't sure what you wanted. I want you to send him a past due notice. What the fuck do you think I want? All right, I'll take care of it. One is money. I'm not sure what that means, taking care of it. <laughs> uh, you know, leave it alone. You sure? Yeah. Is he trying to do things slow and take a step back for now? Or what's going on there? A relative from the other side is here. I should pay my respect. Uh, farm? <laughs> so quit. I'm not going to quit. Just get a different scene. I like you as an actor. I love how in-depth they go with this and how he's like discussing how he feels about this and the scenes and all other scenes. I like this is the whole thing. <laughs> Out of any fucking scale you want to use, things are going good. I'm firmly in charge, no trouble there. He's not feeling good. So why the fuck am I ripping phones out of the wall in front of my kid? 
You got a lot on your mind. There's a lot of pressure on him. What if I told you I went to see a shrink? I had an inkling. He probably heard through the grapevine. A lot of people knew, I feel. Every once in a while, I get anxious. I get to the point where I fucking pass out. So thank your father. What? My old man had anxiety attacks? Well, in those days, we called it a condition. This is so interesting to know. Did he go to a doctor? Wouldn't have made any difference in those days. They wouldn't know how to treat that shit. Not much better now. <laughs> You can see images of the brain and how your brain responds to fear. You see a person listening to a tape of a parent criticizing. I'm talking about an adult, mind you. Their fear center kicks right in. Interesting. It's confronting. I love how he's so casual about this. Oh, you dance on that too? No worries. I think they used my ass to invent some new tests. I was at the beach, but I had a suit on. Dude, you need to go back to the therapist and not do this conversation here. You have a camera up your ass the size of a garden hose. You guys are like talking like this. All right. I can't wait for them to be having the therapy scenes again. I love those. Gentlemen call a guy. It's not me. It's not supposed to be. That's why they call it acting. Right. James Dean. It's great. Cool. Interesting how in a different scene he's suddenly fully motivated again. Although I do get though. I was first thinking like it's not supposed to be you, but I've had to do one thing that I really remember hating doing. And yeah, I still remember that exact play. You know everything. Yeah, I do. Family of Malice lived in my pool for two fucking months. Yeah, he has some history with ducks. It's <laughs> American. What did you do? If I wanted to go to work for a job, I would have stayed in Kazakhstan. Oh, oh. Okay. He said, if I don't like to fight, I should find myself a Russian. Oh no, he's, oh no. Oh, I thought that was gonna be it. Oh. Here. Yeah, it's the now player. you're fucking involved, okay? <laughs> well, a nice afternoon at the water. She, so unbothered. Okay. Poor guy. <laughs> Next time he won't be uh, so forward. Move your ass. Oh man, I'd be really annoyed if this is how your day goes. Help me. Daddy. Oh, fuck this shit. You said you weren't gonna laugh. Whew. Calm down, Chris. Baby, you were doing so good. Nah, fuck this. No. Christopher. It's so sad. He's like this kid that is like trying to get them to focus on a task. And when it's not immediately working, they get like frustrated and it's done. Well, lately, I feel this aversion to my swimming pool. It depresses me. Cocksuck was a sound engineer in one of my studios. I really hope that conversations with him are gonna teach him to go back to therapy. Where somebody actually is paid to listen to you. Stand up. And I'll stand up with you. Damn, full on with the crying. <laughs> I feel like Chris is releasing some inner turmoil. I'm freaking believable. <laughs> I feel like she just saw the Lord descend. <laughs> How'd you make yourself cry like that? Oof. Okay, I did not expect that. With the cigarettes? Oh, dude. You want to watch your ashes, please? Oh my god, it's so long. How you doing, Foodio? Foodio! <laughs> That's actually very funny. You didn't stop those grapes yourself, did you? <laughs> Ooh, the disrespect. You hey, don't get up. I wasn't gonna. It's shit. It's always that, like, are we laughing or are we mean? It's always like a little bit. Mm. Puss. Wanna give us a minute? Ooh, we're gonna talk business. I'm in the middle of fucking eating. I know. Five minutes. All right? Wow, he's like telling him. I gotta make a call anyway. <laughs> okay. Nice saving face. It's like all these years were for nothing. what I tell you? You think Tony really gives a flying fuck about you? He did though, he really did. It's the same all over. Look out for number one. Like, you made the first move to make it a bad relationship. The ones coming up, half of them are on drugs. The other half are fucking psychos. Me? World full of scumbags. I get that he's pissed, though, but I feel like he is reaping what he sold. Is that how you say it? Ellie and I abandoned him. Your life is in danger. Oh, she's fully crying over this. Do you realize what I did last week? I stormed out of here like a child. You remember, you called him a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think is a word that I've ever used outside of this episode in my life. <laughs> you mentioned you've put on a little weight lately. Hormones? What is it you're not telling me, Jennifer? I don't know. 
Ooh. Seeing him again will be very therapeutic. Not supposed to be therapeutic for you. This is your therapy here. So before she actually said that sentence without thinking like, that's odd. Do you have sexual feelings for him? Oh, he went there. No. That took a long time to answer. I have feelings on a personal level. He can be such a little boy sometimes. Damn, do you remember that he was dreaming that he was a baby in this lady's arms and now she's like, he's such a little boy. They both are exactly what the other one is looking for. Interesting. Oh. Oh God. Furio. Right. You go. We pay money. Nanda prokuba. Nanda Oh, this is aggressive. Statte zitte, putta. Si è fortunato che non da già ammazza. You're lucky that I. And then I don't even know what he said. It's Dr. Melfi. What's the timing? Yes, yeah, so. I uh, tried your other number. So awkward. I could have fit you in tomorrow at 2.30. Now nah, fuck it. Why do you say that? Get by without it. Dude, you're not getting by at all. The other number didn't work because you smashed the phone. <laughs> I'll keep the hour open. Yeah. It's so weird, right? We have this interaction and she's now going to overthink this so much while he's in a car driving away from the police. <laughs> so his mind is like on different things. You just saw two actors have an entire conversation saying only A and the other responding be. It's so funny because I've done these things and now I'm like, oh, that's so cringe. But like, I've done that. I feel like if you're all in that context and all doing it, it makes sense. But if you're just watching this, it's like, you're not in that vibe. You know, I think that's it. Hey. Stop it, Christopher. What the frank? Words are just words. He's like, I don't need any words. Who needs words? What was that all about? I don't understand. The guy didn't say anything. He said, A. Hey. Maybe doing that scene brought up some bad feelings. You know, where he was supposed to be your father. Ah, oh, she might be on the spot. Who else is behind you? Who even knows about it? I hated seeing you suffer with that writer's block. It's kind of true. She's helped him a lot. I couldn't wait to get it for you for your birthday. You got him a gift. She's helping practice. She's giving tips. She's actually very kind about this. Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh boy. Of course he's there. Yes, I'm so glad for back at this. Finally. She's probably also very happy. Look at her. Are you still taking your medication? <laughs> he has some mannerisms and I've been thinking this so much, but that my brother has as well. Like the faces he can pull, that's totally my brother. <laughs> Or you mean that you're angry with me for not agreeing to treat you then? I found out a little medical history. My old man had the same thing. Interesting. Interesting. That's it. You're not going to send me for fucking tests or something? Did you read the article in the Times? <laughs> Did you read the article in the Times, Tony? Broke his arm. Put a bullet in his kneecap. How'd that make you feel? Wish there was me in there. Giving the beating or taking it? Whoa, deep. <laughs> straight face again this is why we love her like just like <clears throat> on the spot and then like no expression this is why it's good that he's back right she is so good at this Ooh, inspiration comes at night showing it out i wonder if this is a i'm done with this or i'm gonna start over in a different way but i feel like this is a i'm done with this Christopher really becomes an interesting character. I don't know what it is about him, but he has these traits in terms of like how good he is to her and how much he likes her. And that seems more genuine than what I see in the other relationships sometimes. But then he has this short fuse many times as well. And today we saw so many like deeper emotions coming out. Super interesting to see him evolve. And I feel like now he's not 
yet a mean character in the mean mob storyline, but I feel like at one point he will. And I'm so glad that Tony and Dr. Melfi are finally speaking again because I was missing those conversations. Those are always super interesting to watch, to analyze, to think about like, oh, I love them so much and I was really missing them. So I'm glad they are back. And I think both of them are as well, which is very interesting. Also wondering how that is gonna evolve because they have some well, history together in the sense that she knows a lot about him. They also had that I dreamed about you and uh, sexual remarks and swearing and cursing and storing away and being in danger. And I don't know, they went through stuff already <laughs> for this professional relationship. So in that sense, that's super interesting. And I can't wait to watch the next one. I think I will be soon. So I will be wearing the same shirt again. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. You can find the edited reactions and the full-length reactions on Patreon. Everything two weeks ahead. So if you want to watch the next episodes already, you can find those over there. It helps me a lot because that way I can work with editors. So thank you so much for joining Patreon. Considering joining Patreon, it helps me out a bunch. So thank you if you consider doing that. I wish you a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.